Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beer Review slash Focus on a Brewery. So today we're actually going to be focusing on beer reviewing this fella. So this is Brid Brewer and Tap Room. And yeah, at some stage they'll probably update the labels. But like most, you know, when you start a company, um, you know, you start off at a certain thing and you move on. So this is Jan's Jaffa Cake. 4.6% a chocolate and orange porter smooth orange and chocolate notes and and uh, yeah so I'm going to talk about the beer I'm going to talk about the brewery tap room over in Bridlington and for me absolutely um, a top-notch edition Ooh. a little bit lively there so, yeah, top-notch addition to Bridlington. You know, Bridlington is a, is a North Yorkshire, I think, um, seaside uh, town, would you call it? And, uh, I mean, I come from Nottingham, so we're in a city, so, you know, obviously slightly different. This time of the year, it must be very tough. You know, I would assume it's more the locals that are, are gathering at this time of the year. Summer months, obviously, is a lot busier. So keeping going. Oh, certainly chocolate and orange on the nose on this. There you go. Look at the pour. Uh, neon black pour. Light tan head. Finger of light tan, as you can see. Finger. Um, yeah, I went uh, back in, I think it was October now. October. Yeah, it would be. And uh, we were over with our friends, the Happy Drinkers. That's, that's our collective, as we call ourselves. Basically, a group of people um, with families who all like a beer and a drink, and you know, and you know, it's 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 been an amazing um, year nearly of of going over to Beeston in Nottingham and meeting up with these people and having a drink. You know, um, it's, it's it's been lovely, you know, um, to 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 meet with people who, who are basically chilled out, not trying to take selfies. And all that business that some people do these days and just be normal people who like a drink put the wheel to rights and have a good time is that not what we all want and strive for in life so we traveled over to bridlington we were stopping at um in filey and i can't remember for the life of me the bloody name of the place where we stopped at no it's gone no no some Haven place and finally, but um, yeah, um, ah, gonna have to dive in because the the old um, whistle needs wetting. Oh, so it is a lively pour. Um, It's come into the house, so it's it's warmed up in the house, and uh, wow, certainly got a bit lively. Um, there we go, all cleaned up. So yeah, I went over to Bridlington uh, Brid Brewer in October. We managed to find the place. Don't get me started on on, on Google and it's crap, crap maps. But we got there eventually, as you do. And uh, we got in and uh, we left the ladies, me and Andy walked in and uh, yeah, um, got the good fella by you know, himself, there were a couple of patrons in there, there was, a, I think he was a homeless bloke who walked in and the lads who were sat there bought him a beer and he could have been ex-army, you know, I've not to know this, you know, so I don't know, but you know, I love that human nature is at its best. And this bloke was well spoken, you know, he wasn't trying to be one of these that are obviously, you know, conning people. You know, he's obviously fell on uh, tough times and, uh, you know, that happens to a lot of people in life. And these guys were back, you know, bought him a drink and that. And his manners were impeccable um, throughout. And, you know, he was a good mind and uh, spoke in a way that, you know, it, to me, you know, you look at somebody that fell on tough times 
really tough to see, you know. When we give so much to people who come across this country, uh, legitimately and illegitimately, and maybe not all who are true, you know, immigrants, and then you get somebody who's, you know, probably served this country, fell on tough times, and, you know, it breaks your heart to see this in, in the world we're in today. It does break your heart. Um, but in any case, yeah, um, got there. We had some amazing beers off the bar, um, cask lines. Could have drank a bit more, to be honest, but, you know, I can always drink more. Yeah, yeah. The problem is, if I'm driving, I can't. Uh, picked up six beers, and I've been reviewing them since October. This is the fifth of the six beers. So this is um, Jen's Jaffa Cake. Um, and yeah, I mean, that put me to the beer straight away. <laughs> Obviously, I can see that the labels are going to improve in the future. You know, um, it is what it is on that side of things. Um, you know, you do what you do. And not all of us are graphical geniuses. If I brewed a beer, it would look the same. So it is what it is in that side of things. Um, so, looking great. <sighs> Certainly smelling great. And you know, we're in a winter where even more so than COVID, there's no, there's no trampoline, there's no, there's no netting underneath this winter to help breweries to help um, pubs and, and whatnot. But by all of us, you know, um, supporting, they can get through this winter, or at least to the best of their abilities. And, uh, and hopefully fall on better times. Today, I, I've been in the pub today, and the first time I've been in there for six years, it's been a long while. Literally, it's only a mile up the road as well, although it is, up the road, it's up a good bloody hill. Um, yeah, yeah, get a lift up, walk back, jobs are good. And we had a cracking meal, we had good beer, great time, great service, food you know, the whole shebang was 100%. And this, and it was a local brewery, you know, a local brewery that I absolutely love Castle Rock Brewery, if, if anybody wants to know, and, and their pub, the Bread and Bitter, and you know, supporting these people um you know at the moment you're eating your sunday dinner your sunday dinner is costing you the equivalent but just two of you the equivalent of about 20 to 25 quid to make yourself is it not better to just go out get it made for you have a bit of warmth maybe get a beer the beer will cost a bit more than the meal obviously but um you know get out there and uh, Enjoy a bit of socialising. Some great people out there in the community as well to socialise. The world at times is an amazing place. Socialising. Talk to people you don't know. Talk to people who don't know about beer and about other things, you know, the world in general. I mean, Jesus Christ, there's a certain ginger ad fella uh, who's stirring the um, proverbial. Yeah, it begins with S, ends in T. But stirring the proverbial so much at the moment that, you know, you cannot um, have an opinion about it, you know, one way or the other. Um, these things happen, you know. Uh, I, I both kind of feel sorry for the bloke and, and his dad. I don't mean King Charles. And uh, you, you get where I'm coming from. Yeah, he smelled like rags cooking. But, um, <laughs> uh, yeah, of course, it's making me smile too much. I won't be able to do a beer review in a minute or, or even a, a focus. So focusing on a uh, brewer and tap room, you know, um, when I went over in October, lots of different beers, lots of different styles, you know, he's obviously a person who, who brought more equipment, not been able to utilise that equipment because of COVID and, you know, tough times or in. Hopefully he will be able to. Hopefully he'll go further. Genuine, genuinely cracking bloke and uh, you know I don't need long to spend with people to see a, a true personality I can spot a fake a mile off trust me 
absolutely trust me and uh, ambition for what he's doing um, knowing that he's in a place called Bridlington and uh, yeah Bridlington isn't London you know but then again also the prices of London are more expensive anyway so these are things to take into consideration in any business but um, uh, a good friend of mine Liam Rusko told me about him a year before said there's a bloke over in Bridlington doing some great beers and uh, and I managed to get across there so he'll be there you know um, I'm sure that if Liam goes over to Bridlington that he will introduce himself and say I'm actually a mate of Raggis so that'll be interesting you know and uh, he's a cracking bloke as well but um, yeah um, so we'll talk a bit more about the beer now Certainly getting the orange, certainly getting the chocolate. More of a porter, I did say porter, didn't it? Yeah. Um, it's tasting ever so nice. Um, it's Sunday night, got work in the morning, as most people have, obviously. Um, what I really loved about Bridlington Brewer is before Christmas, lots of different Christmas beers going in. For me, and a lot of the breweries don't do it, and I have no idea why they don't do it. We have got events throughout the year. I worked at Sainsbury's uh, for five years. I came out of gardening, worked at Sainsbury's. So I see now how the retail market thinks and promotes. So you've got, obviously, Christmas, New Year. But then after that, you've got Valentine's Day, a Valentine's Day beer, Mother's Day beer, uh, Easter beer, Father's Day beer. Moving on a bit further, summer beer, you know, if you really wanted to go that far. Uh, you've got Halloween beer, bonfire beer, uh, and again, Christmas beers. And there's other things in between. There's so much you can do. Um, to, to have a themed beer for any any time of the year. Uh, is it doable? Yeah, of course it's doable. You know, you can theme a beer. I've seen the big breweries do it. They've stopped doing it for whatever reason. Um, probably COVID or, you know, change of management styles, etc., etc. But they do it in, they do it in, in pubs where they'll have a beer for each different themed topic of the year. And my gosh, you could certainly do it. If I owned a brewery, it'd be um, yeah, Raggy's birthday as well. Yeah. That'd be a beer, wouldn't it? <laughs> so, my focus on uh, Bird Brewer. Uh, I know as much as I know. I've only ever met the guy once. Um, obviously interacted on social media one or two times since uh, massive thank you to me from me to Mr Big Brewer for sharing my beer reviews you know it's it's the biggest thank you that someone can get who does beer reviews as a hobby or anybody on YouTube is for someone to share their videos and thank them and you know it's an amazing thing so hand on art my thank you to you back um, uh, obviously, I wish Brid Brewer and Taproom all the best for the future. Um, I think by being prudent and also by trying, trying new styles. Obviously, uh, the people that come to Bridlington may not be as crafty beer as the people from further afield. So, you know, from, from big cities. But hey ho, a lot of people go, go up there. And you know, by doing more internet sales and varying styles of beer, it's another way of getting yourself further afield. So it's it's an interesting thing nonetheless. Um, and what and what Raggy's beer reviews does is to use any social media. I wouldn't call it power, I would call it uh, 
there's a word, I can't think of the word at the moment, existence even, uh, to promote breweries is what I do. It's what I've done recently and uh, across some of the biggest UK groups, beer groups. Why? Word of mouth is absolutely critical. And if someone's going to Bridlington or in that area and they've not heard of the likes of Bridborough, then why wouldn't you, you know, do a bit of promotion, get them to buy the beer, get that on the, the likes of UK Craft Beer Forum, you know, start lovers and all them sort of things. Why wouldn't you? Exactly. You, you know where I'm coming from. Um, so, subtle chocolate and orange on this. It's going down well. I'm enjoying the beer. And uh, Jen, Jan's Jaffa cake, 4.6%. Tastes like 4.6%. Totally enjoying it. Um, hope you've enjoyed both a, a slight review and more of a, um, a focus on Big Brewer and Tap Room. And uh, I've got one more beer left. And it's a, I think it's a rum, and a smoked rum. I think it is anyway. And I'm really going to look forward to that. And hopefully sometime soon in the future. Can't see it being next this year because uh, crazy busy this year. Got a wedding vow renewed. So uh, yeah, I don't think I'll get up that neck of the woods. Not this year at least. But um, yeah, all the best for everyone in Bridlington. You know, keep your businesses safe. Um, try and keep going through this awful winter with a government that don't, just don't care, you know. Yeah. And you're a billionaire. Do you care about the people who are poor? No, no. Yeah, you can say all you like, but you know the best people to look after a country are those that live in the situation that everyone else lives in, not some millionaire, some billionaire. Hey ho, it is what it is. So for me. Good 4.4 for this beer, I'll show you again. And uh, thank you for watching. And uh, thank you for, if you do watch more of Raggy's Beer Reviews, thank you again. And uh, massive thanks to Brid Brewer and Taproom. Cheers, mate. See you soon.